I'm sure they had bad times or whatever, but what I was seeing was very harmonious is the word, harmonious. Um, and I'm seeing things up, up, up here. Hydrate. This is an apple I picked up at some uh, <laughs> some breakfast at a motel. It's been uh, baking in my side cases, so I don't know how that's gonna work. I get to see so many amazing things and explore such magical places, but sometimes it's less magical, like this motel. My suggestion is to step up from the cheapest motel in town. It'll probably cost an extra 20 bucks, but you'll have functioning AC, be able to walk around without shoes, sleep inside the sheets, and probably won't have an actual bloody handprint on your wall. And I'm serious, that's a bloody handprint. So I'm hitting these parks and the the problem I'm having is it's it's just all these people and like today I connected at um I should make sure this is recording. Yeah, it's four minutes in. <clears throat> Okay, so um, I've been exploring the uh, bandolier ruins. I think that's what they're called. I'll have to fix it. Mostly there's not much, there's not much information that I'm being told. Um, so I'm trying to ask about um, like uh, religious things and I'm getting like the energy Sorry I'm so vague. Sometimes I have difficulty with the equipment. You find the next spot. Sometimes it's the location, sometimes the spirit world, and sometimes it's me. This time as I walk around Bandelier National Monument, my equipment is working, but everything else is a little off. The spirits are talking, but I'm unable to get anything because every time I hit record, a crowd of noisy people surrounds me. They must think that I'm in the absolute best spot in the park, and so they're on top of me. It's amazing, the stuff I'm seeing is really, I'm, I'm really, really lucky to be able to see this and, and explore these places, but some of these places are crowded and um, all this stopped. And there we go again. I should check this one out. In the room, while the cameras are having issues, it's mostly my fault. Instead of listening to spirits, I'm focused on remembering what they told me at the park. So I've got spirits trying to talk to me, but now I'm unfocused and trying to find a new spot to record. Since I'm not actively trying to communicate with them, they give up trying to get my attention and begin chatting with each other. Okay, so I'm recording again. This this park I went to today was amazing. It's um, these cliffs and they've like basically carved out little caves in it. And they've also built uh, like Pueblo style houses up against the wall so you've got these tall three-story three-story buildings built into the wall really neat stuff but the problem i'm having is the places are so crowded and you know they we've got just random people yelling and like doing all this stuff and i'm trying to tune in and it's, it's like i can tune in but reporting just isn't working like I'm not able to report it so today I went to this I went to this place and I tuned in and I was getting images of like how harmonious they were they were doing really well with like being able to grow crops you know grow crops down in the valley um, and they would come up and I was asking them about like I'm like oh wow you know the the, your houses are so magical and everything and it's like 
there was some kid talking to me. Um, when I left Chaco Canyon, I had with me. I had I had the uh, the girl. Um, oh no, I'm gonna feel bad. I'm not sure if the person calling me little brother was there, but when I was talking about how magical the um, their houses were and everything, like the the boy could have been. He was talking about no man in the valley, the valley, like down at the ground. That's the place where everybody wanted to be all the time. You know, just being up in the cliffs or whatever it was being separate from it. So today, when I was talking to him about the uh, about the walls and the housing and the agriculture and all those things, all I was getting was like it. They really had their system figured out. It was really harmonious. Um, people were happy. They were doing well. It really seemed like a nice setup. I'm sure they had bad times or whatever, but what I was seeing was very harmonious is the word, harmonious. Um, and I'm seeing things up, up, up here. So I was like, okay, well, what else can I ask you about? Let me ask you about the spiritual stuff. And uh, they started to talk really fast and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get it, but it was like, it was also kind of like poetry but they were talking about the wind coming down the canyon and the interaction between the wind and the trees and the wind and the walls and how the wind carries energy and then there's also the energy of the water and and then um, I, I feel like I broke it off or something but it started to rain really hard and that kind of caused all of this commotion in the in this valley with all the tourists and then you know, the animals were freaking out and there were deer running across looking for shelter from the rain and um, I was thinking it was probably a good idea to not be next to all of these super long uh, metal railings that are all tied together um, in a lightning storm. I'm from Southern California. We don't get thunder and lightning very often, so I don't know. A couple of years ago, my guide suggested I stop drinking coffee. I love coffee, but they have a better sense of the big picture over there, and they never tell me to do or avoid anything. So if they're adamant about me skipping coffee, it's important and in my best interest to stop. But because I love it so much and have argued about it with them, it comes up in discussion from time to time. But yeah, no coffee for me, not anymore, and I don't know why. So if your guides told you to avoid coffee, would you or could you do it? Tell me in the comments. And please subscribe, like, and thanks for watching.